Hello! I'd like to get some groundwork out of the way first of all. I have no nostalgia for the original game. It was released well before I was even alive, and the first time I played it was like a month ago. <laughs> so there is no nostalgia boner, and maybe that is why I hate this game so much. At first I wasn't even going to make a video on the game because it would be entirely negative and I don't really want to do that. But then I saw the trailer for the second game coming out and it made my blood pressure boil so I'm just going to vent. Now I appreciate the corp deflection of this being a remake so it won't follow the beats of the original. But my counter argument is you remade it into shit. You took the Mona Lisa and then painted a crooked penis in MS Paint and claimed it was a remake. No, it is garbage. The way the game plays out is as if you described the original to someone who had never played it, they try to recreate it, but they're a writer in current year so have no talent or ability to tell stories. A sample of this would be the plate falling. In the original it falls, Jesse, Biggs, Wedge and everyone in the sector dies. In this one, Biggs gives a generic I'm dying speech, then dies. Jessie bombs a helicopter, then dies from it crashing into her, before generic death speech. Everyone evacuates, Wedge survives somehow, so no one actually dies from the plate being dropped. So what was the point of it being dropped? You have now made one of the biggest moments of the original completely meaningless because all it did was destroy a bar. But now Wedge is alive, so what great story points can you hit with him now being a character that occurs throughout the rest of the story? He calls a helicopter, it gets blown up, and then he dies from Ghost pushing him out of a window. But maybe that's just a bad scene. What about Sephiroth's first appearance? You know, he, he's the main guy, he's the big draw. He shows up after blowing up the first reactor with no build up, and then tells Cloud, I killed your mom. It's fucking retarded. But you know, maybe Sephiroth actually sucked the entire time. Maybe he was actually dog shit poo poo doo doo in the original. So let's compare the scenes. In the original, he's only mentioned twice by name, and you never actually see him show up in Midgard. You get arrested by Shinra, you go to sleep, wake up, the door is unlocked, everyone's dead, the hallways are coated in blood, and the leader of Shinra is just dead impaled with a katana. And in this one he's just walking around. No one is even killed by him, he's literally walking, he does nothing, he's just walking around. This guy is drinking tea and he just looks at him and goes, uh? When you get to the president's room, I guess Sephiroth thought it would be funny to just dangle him from a ledge. I don't know why the fuck he did this, why didn't he just kill him? I don't fucking know, apparently he thought this would be funny. But the cherry on top of this scene is made by Barrett, who sees the leader of the organisation he wants to destroy, has killed hundreds of thousands of innocent people, committed double 9-11s, decides not to kill him, Tifa, who has helped him commit multiple 9-11s, goes, no Barrett, don't kill this guy. They pull him up, move him over to his desk, he pulls out his prestige 57 golden glock and holds them all hostage. How the fuck did this turn into this? The entire main cast is actually fundamentally retarded, you have made them all lobotomized, they are so fucking stupid. But then for some reason Sephiroth shows up again and goes Now nah, I'm actually killing this guy now and stabs him because we've got to make it like the original somehow I guess. He then stabs Barrett and kills him but the ghost revived Barrett. Why did the ghost revive him? Fuck knows. Why didn't the ghost revive the president? Fuck knows. Why did the ghost kill Wedge? Fuck knows. The writers don't know either. But maybe the gameplay is actually very good. Maybe it's what you would describe as peak. Uris, who is now Urif for some reason, and Barrett are unplayable. Barrett shoots and Urif shoots magic and that's their entire moveset. Red isn't even playable, so that's 3 out of 5 done, since the game takes place entirely in Midgard. So what about Cloud and Tifa? Cloud has two combos that you do by mashing the hit button 
that you cannot interchange, that are completely separate and cannot be mixed. And Tifa has one. This is a 30 hour game. You have three fucking combos for the entire game. Okay, so the story is awful, the gameplay is dog shit, but it looks good, right? Well, no. The graphics themselves are very good. They do indeed look good, but what they have used them for is drab, boring, and the most uninspired dog shit I have seen in my life. There is not a single area in this game that looks even remotely interesting. To hammer this home, two of the chapters in the game take place entirely in a sewer. The same sewer, they make you go to the same sewer twice. And it is honestly one of the best environments in the game, and it's a fucking sewer. That is how bad all of the others are. The only point where I ever went, wow, this actually looks good, is when they just recreate shots from the original. The game has a very good base, but the architects went, I don't know, fuck it, just build some walls, and just threw it all together, and it looks so fucking boring. However, in spite of everything I've said, Tifa's tits are indeed peak, so it's a 10 out of 10. However, 13 of the 17 chapters are filler with completely made up, oh I'm sorry, original content, and it all fucking sucks. And Sephiroth has that retarded looking wing that just makes him look like an edgy tryhard, and the absolute fucking goal of them to put in a classic gameplay mode. Now what would you think a classic game mode would be in a Final Fantasy game, especially one remaking 7? Maybe a, uh, I don't know, a turn based one? No, it's the fucking combat from 13, commonly known as the worst one. Minus 5 out of Tifa's tits, this is a bigger travesty than 9-11. I have been trying to tell them, stop eating shit. And they say, why do we stop want to eating sh Why do we want to stop eating shit? It's so good. We love eating shit. And I said, no, if you keep eating shit, then they'll keep feeding you shit. Oh, and also I forgot I'm midway through editing this video. Uh, at the end, Biggs is alive, I guess, because we had to get that young gay voice acting for the next one because he needs to block the other remaining half of Twitter. Re-reline. I can't find who the fuck even voice that's big. I thought it was Young Gate, it might not even be, but fuck it, I'm leaving it in, that's funny.